Oh, hello everyone. Hope everyone's doing fine and uh, not in too badly need of a haircut. Today's Business One life hack is about the Boyum Usability Package Toolbox and I'll show you what I mean right away. So there are a number of things we can do with this magical thing called the Toolbox. I'm just going to open up a sales order and uh, here we go. Okay. And let's say I'm creating a sales order. So who hasn't um, been annoyed by this, right? I'm going to pick a name here. It's standard functionality, so I guess it's not supposed to be annoying, but I find it a little bit annoying. I'm, I'm creating a sales order here, and I pick my customer, and I'm working with the sales order, and let's say I'm selling this. Okay, great. All right, so this customer ordered this item. And uh, it looks good. So I want to create the sales order and then I want to generate a pick list or do something else or what have you. Normally what I have to do, of course, is add the sales order and then go back and find it because it adds the sales order and then it goes to add a new sales order. That's the default behavior. But in this case, I'm gonna add the sales order to the system and then it's gonna pop the sales order back up. Wow. That's convenient. Okay, so how did I do that? How was that tweak accomplished? Now, there's a number of things you can do with the system using sort of core business one tailoring of the system or using the business one usability package, which typically features in this B1 life hack section. Uh, we can build custom macros. We can, you know, basically trigger almost any behavior. But what you just saw was actually a default toolbox configuration. So what is the toolbox? Well, if I search in the administration module in the add-ins folder, again you got to be a super user to be able to do this, B1 usability package, module configuration, and if we search within the modules of B1 usability package right down here near the bottom toolbox config, so I'm going to crack that open. So the toolbox is a number of sort of really commonly requested tweaks to the system, things that, you know, Boyum feels that the majority of the user base would really enjoy, right? So there's a number of toolbox tweaks based on the business partner, based on the items, the documents, the banking, financials. So if we take a look at documents, so what we mean here is the marketing documents, the sales, quote, order, invoice, delivery, so on, and the AP uh, purchase request, purchase quotation, um, that's what's meant by documents, marketing documents in the system. And we look down here, go to new sales documents or go to new purchase documents. This is the functionality that is allowing you to create a new sales order document, create a new invoice, and then go to uh, the, the new one. And notice how there's a dot, dot, dot by the sales documents. So you can decide which sales documents are in scope. So you may not want to do that with AR invoices. You may want to leave AR invoices and credit memos and anything sort of more accounting related out of the scope of that tweak. Whereas, you know, we would like to do that on sales quotations, orders, deliveries, return requests, returns, so on and so forth, okay? So you're allowed to choose which marketing documents that particular sort of go to last or reopen functionality applies to. All right, now this toolbox contains a number of other tweaks. I'm probably not going to go through them all today, um, but if you do have usability package, um, if you don't yet, you, you should have it. But if you do have usability package, go in here to the toolbox configuration, take a look at these tweaks. Now, if you're wondering what these tweaks do, because sometimes on the basis of the short description, it really isn't enough to understand, well, what does use address copy system mean or start in name field? Um, go to the Boyum Help Center. So support.boyum-it.com forward slash ac forward slash en dash us you just do a google search on boyum help center and you will find this place and this includes the major help center articles on uh you know all of um, uh, all of their principal packages like the usability package crm for outlook i payment and various other add-ons that they support like bayaz and projemex and and so on and so forth okay um, if you go into the B1UP area, uh, so 
this particular help center is um, help articles, right? You know, articles that put things in context. It's not the manual, but if you go into the B1 usability package area of the help center, they do have an entry for the manual and it links you to the web address that the manual resides on. And if you go there and you open up the manual, so it's similar to the Business One manual, drill down in the module sec section and you can see toolbox and then drill into the section of the toolbox you want. So like on the documents tab, uh, go to new sales documents. It describes what that functionality does, right? Or likewise, we were looking at something on the business partner um, use uh, automatic numbering say for instance and it describes what that feature does okay so that's how to get the most out of the Boyum toolbox um, certainly let us know if that was useful um, you can like and subscribe but actually what's more useful to us is if you post a comment in the comments below ask a question interact uh, we're more than happy to answer your questions and maybe we'll even feature an uh, upcoming video on your question. Thanks so much again for your attention.